Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Paramus Catholic, Remote Learning, Personal Finance. I hope everyone's well. Okay, uh, we miss you guys, uh, but uh, we'll be back soon enough, and uh, we will uh, we'll make our way through. Today, uh, we're going to uh, talk about taxable income, and uh, taxable income is a a very special phrase in accounting because uh, that's the income that you get taxed on. So in other words, uh, some income is not taxed. And how is that uh, so and what's the difference? And uh, there's a number of accounting courses just on tax that you could take as an undergraduate in accounting that could help you explain uh, some of this terminology. So we're going to uh, try to keep it basic. Now, taxable is in income is the income you get taxed on, which means not all of your income will be taxed. And how do you get around that? Well, there are things such as tax credits, tax deductions, uh, allowances, <coughs> exemptions that allow you to lower your taxable income. See, when you lower your taxable income, uh, that means you're going to pay less tax because there's less income to be taxed. Now, some folks refer to these uh, credits, uh, deductions, allowances as loopholes, kind of implying almost that uh, it, there's something illegal or you're getting around the law or you're getting around the tax code, but not true. Uh, these are legal ways to reduce your taxable income. So that's why when you are... Uh, submitting, remitting your taxes, and doing your April 15th, getting your tax return in, although they have delayed it like 90 days now. Uh, you want someone who's uh, well-versed in the tax code so that they can figure out a way to lower your taxable income and thereby decrease the amount of tax that you have to pay. Now, Friday we said uh, April 15th, April 15th, it's not really the day when you pay taxes. You've been paying taxes all along. Uh, it's just a matter of on April 15th, we file a federal tax return to try to determine whether what we paid during the year is what we should have paid. Uh, did we pay too much or did we pay too little? Now, if we paid too much, uh, we're going to get a tax refund. Uh, but if we paid too little, uh, we're going to owe uh, the government uh, some tax money. Now, this is all surrounded around the concept of tax brackets. And uh, tax brackets are what makes the tax uh, system so confusing. And the federal tax brackets for 2019, uh, now, it varies depending upon how you file. And what I mean by how you file is if you file as a single person, you, that's a particular status. Um, if you file as someone married and you file along with your spouse uh, together, that's called married filing jointly. You can even file separately. You can even file as a head of household. There are some other little versions. So uh, let's suppose, though, we're a single person. So as far as our filing status is concerned, we're going to file as a single individual, one person, okay? We're going to file as a single individual. Now, if you look up 2019 tax brackets, and uh, you can go online anywhere. Um, I happen to just be right on Nerd Wallet, and they have a nice clear uh, outline of the tax brackets. And you can see that depending on your income, uh, you're going to pay... Uh, a certain percentage in taxes. But not all your income gets taxed at the same rate. So if you find 2019 tax brackets, Nerd Wallet, and that's the uh, site, and uh, you go down to uh, filing uh, single, filing as a single, you'll see, once you get there, that there's a number of different tax brackets. Uh, one of them is the 10% tax bracket, 
and if you're single, any taxable income that you have between zero and 9,700 is taxed at 10%. This is taxable income. This is after the deductions, the credits, the allowances, the loopholes, if you will. So any money in that bracket that you earn gets taxed at 10%. So here's a pretty simple rule. Let's suppose someone's taxable income is $9,000. Taxable income. All of this money is in this first bracket. So therefore, how much federal income tax, United States federal income tax, does someone pay if they have $9,000 of taxable income? 10%, 0 0.1, 0 0.10 times that, okay? At 10%, this person's going to pay $900 in income tax because their money was all in the first bracket. Okay, that's if they earn $9,000. Now, let's suppose somebody earns uh, $20,000. Okay, now, $20,000 presents a different situation. This is the person that earned nine. Okay, now, so let's suppose somebody earns 20000 The very first of the $20,000 of taxable income, the very first 9700 gets taxed at how much, everybody? 10%. So this person's going to pay $900 of tax on the first $9,700. We all pay $900 on the first $9,700 that we earn. But unlike this first example, okay, this person earned $20,000. So there's more money that needs to be taxed. Well, if you subtract this number from that number, this person still has $10,300 to be taxed. <coughs> now, if you're looking at your, that nerd wallet, 2019 federal income tax bracket, the next bracket down for a single person after the $9,700 uh, is 12%. Uh, so this person gets taxed at 12%, not all of the money, notice, just the 10300 Where did this come from? Well, look, if you add these two together, there it is. Okay, 12% of 10300 is $1,236. So, someone that earns $20,000, this first amount of money, they have to pay that much tax, this next amount of money that they earn, that's how much tax they're going to have to pay. Together, they're going to have to pay $2,206 in taxes. That's an example of a progressive tax, right? As a person earns more money, that money gets taxed at a higher rate. It doesn't go back and retroactively tax this $9,700 at 12%. That only gets taxed at 10%. Warren Buffett, Mike Bloomberg, the richest people in the world, only pay 10% on the first $9,700 of taxable income. No different than you or I. Okay? And now the next bracket, and you can see the next bracket if you're looking on that 2019 Nerd Wallet scene, says any money between $9,700 and 39475 any of that money gets taxed at 12%. Well, this person made 10300 in that bracket. Okay? I'm going to do one more uh, example. Let's do one more example of someone filing single. Pardon the cough. I think I'm fine. I feel good. <coughs> but I got a little cold. It came up keeping an eye on it though, but I feel good. Now let's suppose a person earns $50,000. $50,000 in taxable income. Taxable income, $50,000. Well, by now, and again you can look at that Nerd Wallet site, this site right here, uh, the first $9,700, okay, this is the first bracket, right? It's taxed at 
10%. So that means this person pays $9,700. Did I just do that last example wrong? The first, it, it should have said $9,700, right? Now, here's the, uh, the next bracket. Now, what's going to get taxed at 12%? Well, if you do the arithmetic and you figure out, now I'm looking at the 12% tax bracket, and in the 12% bracket, I'll just write it down here so it's not in the way. The 12% bracket is the money from 9,701 up to 39,475, right? Any money that falls into that is in the 12% tax bracket. Now this person, this person earned $50,000. So all of this money in here is going to be taxed at 12%. Now, if you subtract this from this, you're going to get 29775 Where does this number come from? This is all of the money that's in this 12% tax bracket. Okay? You subtract this from this, and you should get that number. Well, it's actually, you can say 9,700. Okay. And if you do that, you get 3,573. So this person paid $970 because they had that much in that bracket. 3,573 in the 12% bracket. But that doesn't cover everything, right? Because how much money did this person make? This person made $50,000. Okay. The 12% bracket stops here. Okay, what's the next bracket up? The next bracket is the 22% bracket. And there's a big jump, a big jump. 22% of taxable income, okay, is paid in taxes. A uh, big number. Now, uh, what's the difference here between this number and this number? So, the person got to this, paid all of their taxes, now, the extra money that takes you into the 50000 the difference between that and that number turns out to be 10525 10000 So if you added these three numbers together, you would get $50,000. <clears> so 10525 at 22%, at 22% is 2316 So therefore, if you add those numbers up, it comes out to 6,859. That's someone who has 50,000 in taxable income, they'll pay $6,859 in total taxes. That <clears throat> is not 22% of that. Uh, you can see uh, pretty quickly that it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's closing in on 14% of their taxable income, okay? Not 20. So when someone says, well, you know, I made so much money, I'm in the 22% tax bracket. Not this amount of money, no matter who you are, that's in the 10%. Not this amount of money, no matter who you are. Again, richest people in the world are only paying 12% of 29,775. But because this person had $50,000 in taxable income, they have to pay 22% of this amount. Add these three numbers together, and that breaks it down and shows you where the $50,000 comes from. Uh, there's our example today on tax brackets. I'm going to put an assignment on, uh, on Google Classroom and just ask you, to view this example, uh, view the 2019 tax bracket nerd wallet uh, site. They even tell you about how taxes are calculated to kind of reinforce what we're talking about here. And I'm going to give you a couple numbers on a Google Classroom assignment uh, tomorrow, Monday, I should say. It's, I'm doing this Sunday night. So Monday, and you calculate uh, what you think. I'll give you a few different numbers. And you can calculate what you think that the, this individual would pay in federal income tax based on uh, this example. Okay, so uh, don't panic. 
It's a little exercise. I'd be interested to see uh, how well, if you view this, how well you kind of uh, manage it. Uh, it. It's not as, uh, for an accountant, they think this is simple, but for the average person, it, it takes a few times through it to actually figure out how it works. And you, thank goodness, don't have to do this when you're calculating your taxes at the end of the year. Uh, there are programs out there, H&R Block, uh, TurboTax, and so on, where you just pump numbers in and they spew the numbers out for you. So the days of having to calculate taxes like this are long, long gone. So as an individual, you do not have to panic and, and make sure that you don't have to calculate it this way. A, computer programs will take care of this for you. But I think it helps to have a sense of what we're talking about when people talk about A, paying their taxes, paying their taxes by April 15th. And when you hear the phrase tax brackets, uh, this is how the U.S. federal income tax uh, structure is. Okay? So any questions, uh, don't forget, keep in touch with a little email or something to that effect. The stream, uh, always feel free. I'm going to give you a little assignment on this now, and uh, good luck, and uh, I'll get another one of these out tomorrow for you. Take care.